The Splice Lock Compression Style Tubing Repair System is designed to provide permanent repair of pinhole and rub through leaks in steel, aluminum, and copper tubing. Splice Lock saves both time and money. Using just standard hand tools, Splice Lock is the perfect solution for both the professional and do it yourselfer for automotive systems such as air conditioning, power steering, heating, and transmission lines. However, Splice Lock should never be used for repairing brake or clutch systems. Lines in these systems should always be replaced due to high pressures involved. The splice lock system consists of the nut, the ferrule, the seal, and the center body. When terminating a connection, the splice lock system uses a block off in place of the center body. Repairs should always be completed by a qualified and competent technician, and safety glasses and gloves should always be worn. For the rest of this video, we will be describing the repair of an automotive air conditioning system using the splice lock repair kit. Other systems will involve slightly different procedures, but the overall assembly of the splice lock repair will be the same. Once the leak has been discovered and identified, and before cutting any tubing, all refrigerant left in the system must be recovered using a refrigerant recovery machine and the system brought down to atmospheric pressure. To perform the repair, a straight length of tubing that is at least two and a quarter inches long must be available. Remember also that the repair will add up to a quarter inch in length to the line being repaired. Using a tubing cutter or cutting tool, remove the damaged portion of the line. Using a file or sandpaper, remove any burrs left from the cutting inside and outside of the tube ends. Using a Scotch-Brite type pad, clean approximately one inch of the end of the tube to make sure it is smooth and all oxidation is removed and that both ends of the tube to be joined are square and clean. Use cotton swabs to remove any contaminants left inside the ends of the tube. Lightly lubricate the tubing ends with refrigerant lubricant only. This is an important detail as you will not want to introduce foreign lubricants into the AC system. Following the diagram shown and on the splice lock packaging, slide the nut and the correct brass ferrule for the tubing size on each tube. Be sure that the threads of the nut and the taper of the ferrule point towards the end of the tube on each tube end. Allow one and a half inches of tube to stick out past the ferrule. Locate the correct size seal for each end of the tubing. Lubricate the seal and insert into the end of the center body, making sure the seal is seated into the sealing groove and fits squarely. Next, slide the tubing end into the end of the center body and through the seal. You may need to twist the center body slightly as the tube is inserted through the seal until it bottoms out against the end of the center body. Slide the ferrule into the center body finger tight and then slide the nut over the ferrule. Thread the nut onto the body until it is also finger tight. Now go back and repeat the other end of the tubing. Again, finish by finger tightening the nut onto the body. Once the splice lock repair has been assembled, you are ready to tighten down the entire assembly to seal the system. Using the appropriate size wrenches, tighten one end lightly using the center hex to hold the center body in place. Repeat a light tightening on the other end, making sure that the tubes are still bottomed into the center body. Continue to alternately tighten each end until the tube nuts feel as though they are bottomed out and cannot be tightened anymore without stripping the threads. The splice lock repair should now be completely sealed. Evacuate the system while checking for any pressure loss. Further tighten the splice lock repair if necessary. Reconnect the battery and recharge and test the system using the appropriate equipment. A block off is also available within the splice lock system to terminate a line that may no longer be needed or wanted. The block off is installed in much the same way as the standard splice lock. However, the red block off will replace the splice lock center body completely and only one side will need to be installed. The seal is installed into the block off exactly the same as the seal fit into the body. The ferrule and nut are placed on the line and installed with the same procedures as detailed earlier in this video. Splice lock is approved for all systems up to 600 PSI and is designed to withstand high vibration for a durable and lasting repair. When installed properly, splice lock is the most effective, economical, and permanent solution available for the repair of tubing, pinhole, and rub through leaks. We were able to repair this customer's van with uh, a lot cheaper than putting new lines in. Uh, new lines would have been probably seven, eight hundred dollars just for the lines. We were able to fix it for a couple hundred bucks by putting the splice lock in just to repair one little pinhole in the line. Um, the product went together very easily. 
Took about an hour to install two splice locks with a small piece of line in the middle. You can fit, I think the smaller ones fit three different sizes, so you can put together mul multiple lines without having to buy 10 different products. Nobody likes to spend that big money right now. This is a way cheaper fix, much easier to use, so it's a very economical way to repair a line that's leaking. Splice Lock will make repairs that normally cost several hundred dollars in as little as five minutes with just two standard wrenches for many times less cost than other repairs or replacement. Splice Lock, the quick, easy, permanent, economical solution to leaking lines.